Hey everybody. Today we're going to be looking at some pickups. These are Duncan designed HP 108 detonator pickups. Uh, on these, the pull pieces are all rusty and corroded. Um, I don't know whether this guitar was stored in a uh, damp environment or whether it's just from playing. Uh, they operate, they, they function fine. Uh, they just look, you know, even, even they kind of look a little beat. Um, so we're gonna, um, we're gonna, we're gonna clean these up and I'll show you how to do it. So we're gonna remove all of these out of there using uh, uh, an Allen key hex wrench. This one is a three millimeter uh, metric. These the Duncan HB 108s have that's too close to the S, have a, um, a hex head right in there, and you just spin them out. So uh, so here you can see um, what it looks like. It's kind of kind of grody. So what we're going to do is, we're going to take a little bit of blue painter's tape, and uh, just, a, just a little piece of it, that might even be too much, but just kind of wrap it around threads. Like that. And the reason we're doing this so we can throw it in the chuck of a drill and not damage the threads. We're going to take a, uh, a sanding sponge. This is one of those little cheap sanding sponges for, for uh, sanding joint compound on like a drywall. Uh, this one has seen its fair share of use, but we don't need it to be real grippy. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to spin this, kind of hold it into the sponge a little bit and, and just spin it around. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if I can take it out of there. So we've got now uh, you know, the head a little bit of kind of corrosion on there but for the most part it's it's kind of clean metal has like a little bit of a, a brushed look um, let's just do it a little bit more get it all totally clean uh, looks pretty good Essentially, what we could do now is just, you know, uh, pop it back in there, and it would look pretty good. Um, we could we could uh, throw a little bit of spray spray paint, just some rattle can paint on there, uh, let it dry, and then put it back in. But um, what I'm actually going to do is something a little bit different. So we're going to take it, put it back in the drill. And we're gonna get some aluminum polish. And we'll just get a little bit on a rag. This is just a cut off piece of an old t-shirt. And you just kinda get a little bit on there. And And now this, instead of having that kind of brushed look, um, is is all shiny. See that? See. So here's one uh, that I did from the other pickup that is was just sanded compared to the one that we just 
did the uh, the polishing compound on. And you don't you don't have to use a lot of it. Yep, I didn't do that for very long. Uh, and then again, here we'll compare it to uh, what they originally looked like, which is kind of gross. So I'm gonna do the rest of them, um, just like we we saw, and uh, we'll come back and see what it looks like all together. Okay, um, we've got them all cleaned up and polished now. Um, I I also kind of wiped down, still still scratchy, but I just kind of wiped down to clean the uh, the, the plastic there. And uh, I just want to show you the last one kind of going in. It's the uh, same as when I took it out, but in reverse. And you don't want you don't want to kind of crank them down too hard. Uh, you know, it's button up against this plastic. You don't want to scratch it, but there you go. So that's what they look like. Here's the before. This is actually the one we the other one we looked at, but uh. This one being the neck and the bridge out of the same guitar. So I think they uh, I think they look a lot better. So what do you guys think? I'll leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.